You know, when you're starting out in your art business, a lot of terminology gets thrown around that sometimes you just have no clue what it means. Commissions, consignment, wholesale. Oh my, <laughs> what's the difference? I'm going to break it down for you today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. Well, hey, my friend, so glad that you are here with me today on 5-Minute Mentoring. You know, three terms that a lot of people use that, you know, may not be common for you uh, as you're starting your art business. Those three are commissions, consignment, and wholesale. I want to break those down for you today because as you jump into your art business and start, you know, getting into the marketplace and selling your work, you definitely need to know what those three terms mean. Now, a commission is typically when a retail customer, that is somebody that's coming directly to you, is coming to you and they're saying, hey, I love what you do. I want you to create a special one-of-a-kind piece for me, for this space or for this home or commercial space, whatever it is. Uh, that can also come through a strategic partner like an interior designer or a builder or even a gallery uh, that you're represented by it may offer your commissioned work and connect you with clients to create special pieces for them. But that's typically what that means uh, when you talk about commissioned uh, works. Sometimes, you know, people call those one of a kind works. The English would call it bespoke. And so whatever it is that you call it, uh, commissions is pretty much the, the common term for that. Now, when it gets into using the words consignment versus wholesale, those are typically words that you're going to hear when you're working with a gallery or a store, a retail store that's going to be selling uh, your work. Typically, when you're selling your work through a fine art gallery, most of the time that relationship is going to be a consignment relationship. What does that mean? That means you're going to give them your artwork. Uh, they're going to represent your artwork. And for that, they're going to take a 50% fee uh, in order to sell your work. When the work sells, not when you deliver it, but when it sells, uh, you're then, usually within 30 days, going to get your check for your 50%. Um, or sometimes that could even be 60 or 70%, depending on the gallery. Usually the higher end galleries are going to be 50%. Sometimes uh, a gallery will do 60 or 70 uh, percent, you know, to you. It just depends, but pretty common it is 50 percent. Now, listen, unless you if you're trying to get your britches in a wad about that, and you're like, ah, 50 percent. Why would I ever give away 50 percent of my cost? Remember, a great gallery is going to be connecting you with great clients. You're going to be uh, among other great artists who are recognized, who have a reputation, uh, they're going to do all the selling. They're going to pay the sales tax. They're going to ship it. They're going to store it. They're going to photograph it. Usually they're going to put it on their website. They're going to put it on social media. They're doing a lot. All you're having to do is make work and make their gallery relationships. So that 50%, although it seems like a lot, don't freak out about that. It's well, well worth it if you're with a high-end uh, reputable gallery. All right. Now, wholesale is typically something that you're going to find when you're working with a retail store. For example, a gift shop or um, any a museum store or something like that. Typically, what's going to happen with that is that a, a store will purchase wholesale. That is usually 50% off your retail price. Uh, they're going to purchase that work for you from you up front. They may give you a yearly order, a quarterly order. They may do a one-time order just to see how your work does. Usually, artists have a minimum. I know when I started out, I had a $750 wholesale minimum. Many times, this would be a $1,000, $1,500 minimum, whatever it is that you feel uh, comfortable with. But what that does is that allows the store to buy the work from you. You get paid immediately at the transaction, and then they get their money when the piece sells in their store. So that's a very, very typical relationship for um, most, you know, little stores, gift shops, things like that. Sometimes I've had I've had stores that will say, "Hey." I'd love some of your bigger pieces too, but I'm not quite able to just buy those wholesale. Would you allow me to buy your smaller work wholesale? And then would you put a couple of big pieces on, com on consignment in the store? And I'm like, absolutely, love that. So I get a check when they purchase the smaller work and I get a check when the bigger pieces sell. So understanding what commission, consignment, and wholesale is all about is going to give you all the confidence you need to start going out and really 
beginning to develop the relationships that you need in the marketplace to sell your work. But really the core of all of that is understanding how to price your art, making sure that you're, you're pricing it in a way that at wholesale, at commission, at consignment rates, you're making money. That's why I wrote a book called How to Price Your Art, Pricing with Confidence for Sales and, and Profit. You can grab that right here on the link uh, in the show notes, right on Amazon. You can also get a link to about a two-hour workshop that I did on how to price your art that goes through a lot more detail than I can here on 5-Minute Mentoring. It's going to give you everything you need to start pricing your art with confidence so you can make money and create the business that you love and do the thing that God's called you to do. All right. I hope you'll grab those today. I hope this has been an encouragement to you. And uh, I love you, my friend. So glad you're here. Remember, till next time, you were created to thrive. All right, bye.